Hey, yo, the cracked Samsung? Hey, you guys did some research. What's up? This is Paolo Bancaro. Slam, got a bunch of stuff in this bag. Uh, says it all relates to me. I, I don't know what it is, but we're about to find out. NASCAR. I know a little something about this. I don't even know how I got into NASCAR, but like when I was a young kid, I used to just sit in front of the TV and I watched like the whole the whole race. Just watch the cars drive around the track, thought it was fire. And then uh, Carl Edwards, I, I don't know what really drew me to this car. Number 99, I liked the way it looked. And he was winning at the time. And then every time he won, he would backflip out the, out the window of his car. And that just was the coolest, coolest thing ever when I was a young bull. So I was a NASCAR fan, had a NASCAR Carl Edwards 99 jacket. Carl Edwards, man, shout out to you for inspiring the young bull when I was a little man, bro. But like, I knew all the racers, Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt. Back then, though, that was my, that was my stuff for sure. I, I definitely had like a NASCAR phase. I had like a NASCAR, I had a NASCAR bed set, but a NASCAR, like my bed was a real NASCAR, shit was fire. That's funny that y'all know that. It's funny. That's heavy, I'm not gonna pull that out. <laughs> hey, yo, the cracked Samsung? Yeah, you guys did some research. <laughs> is this the exact phone? The, uh, not the exact phone, but is this the same phone? Like sixth grade, parents didn't want to give me no iPhone. So they got me this, or I already had a phone. And I wanted a new phone, and I was hoping it was gonna be an iPhone. And they ended up giving me this. So I was sick, um, but I used it. And uh, no, I remember one day it froze on me. I forgot where I was, but it just froze on me and like stopped working for whatever reason, maybe some water or something got into it. And I just got, I don't know why I was at my boiling point back then, bro, but I just slammed it to the ground like hard as I could. And it was way more cracked than this, by the way, like way more. Like the whole screen was shattered. But then I just kept it and like it, act, and then it actually, like I cracked it, got rid of it. My parents got me another Android, but like I kept the phone and it ended up like turning on. I heard a story about uh, one time you left it or it got lost and like the uh, light rail or something like that. Yep. Somebody somehow like found Damn. it. Damn. I forgot about that story. Yeah, I left it on the light rail. I left it on the light rail and it was hella cracked and nobody wanted it because <laughs> it was trash. It was a garbage phone, it was cracked. And so they had just brought it back and I ended up getting it back. Like, yeah, I left it on the light rail and uh, had to go downtown to like the train station and they had it. But yeah, I do not miss this phone though, at all. Sherm, the story is he was at the hotel that I think I was having dinner at. It's in Seattle. And uh, I wasn't, I was with like, I was somewhere else. And my parents were with him and like some other guys on the Seahawks, whatever, just chilling. And I was somewhere else, like, I think I was in the mall or something. And they was like, man, Richard Sherman, he's over here, like, come say hi and shake his hand, he wants to meet you. And I was just like, eh, nah. Like, I was having fun. I was, I just didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to leave what I was doing to go over to where they were at just to say hi to Richard Sherman. Like, you know, Richard Sherman was, he was like the dude back then. And I ended up meeting him and like, you know, talking to him later on in life. I guess I just knew. I was like sixth grade. I was like, bro, I'm having fun right now. I'm not trying to like, you know, all respect to Richard Sherman, but I was having fun, man. I wasn't trying to lead the fun to go, you know, sit around some, some older people, adults. Man, y'all got hella stuff in here. Oh yeah. Starburst. Mind if I grab one right now? I love Starburst, but I always love the pink ones more. And then I went in the store one day and seen they had the all pink like pack and I'd never seen that before. And after that, I was like, all right, these are, this is all I need and I don't need the regular Starburst anymore. I got the all pink, so. And yeah, now I got like a lifetime supply. It's actually ridiculous. I had to I had to lay off a little bit actually. 
I was eating too many of them. I have a pink Starburst like box. It's like a vaulted box with a lock on it. It's all pink. It's a star. It looks like a Starburst. And it's from it's from Starburst. It has my name on it. And it has nothing but just packs of pink Starburst in there. Oh, yeah, I know what these are. Another story behind these. My parents had me doing drum classes. Uh, yeah, no, it was a that was like a hobby I had growing up. We'd go there on the weekdays, do drum lessons. It was fun. I didn't do like like performances or anything, but so I made it a hobby. Had a drum set in the basement. Just something to do when I was a young kid. Used to love getting on the drums. I used to take my drumsticks with me, like a basketball. So like if we go somewhere, I'd like be banging on the tables or like we'd go to like a like a high school football game or something. Like me and my pops and like I'd uh. I'd bring the drumsticks and like play on the bleachers and stuff. There was a point where basketball kind of started to just take everything over. And like, I started really falling in love with sports, like where that's all I wanted to do. So I kind of just stopped doing this and like other sports I was doing. I'll probably, I could pick this back up though. I probably need a, some more lessons though. I, I forgot most of the stuff I learned. I say you wanna do a, a demo? Nah, man, nah, I don't want to embarrass myself, but don't, don't be fooled though. I got some, I, I know how to do some. Hell. Surfer Boys Pizza. Oh, Stranger Things. Great show, bro. It's probably like, you know how shows, like you be getting, like, you be feeling attached to the show. Like this one of them shows where like, it, that's how I, when I first started watching, like I was just so into it. Like my mom actually started watching it first when it first came out. And I remember she had told me like she was watching it and like, she was, she was telling me I should watch it. And I was like, well, Stranger Things? I'm like, what's that about? She's telling me just, oh, it's just supernatural, like monsters, wow, yada, yada, kids. I was like, ah, that's not really my speed. Like, I'm not huge on the monsters and scary stuff. But one day we was just on a, like, we was just chilling. And she just put it on the TV. And I just sat down with her and was watching. I didn't even know what show it was. And then, like, three episodes in, I was like, yo, mom, what show is this? She was like, Stranger Things. And I was like, oh. I was like, oh yeah, this is, my, this is my show. And that was like four or five years ago. And ever since then, I just been, I've been locked, man. I actually just got back from doing this commercial shoot, man. I got to meet uh, David, AKA Jim Hopper from, from Stranger Things. We, we in the commercial together. Y'all see that during the finals, but yeah, being, being on set with him and filming a, a whole commercial was dope. And it was just a, to me, it was a full circle moment. Like just seeing him and getting to actually like act with him after being such a huge fan, fan of the show, uh, it was crazy.